Anson Griffiths Occasion series in YouTube tutorials featuring MATLAB. Today we're looking at structure for motion and just to go down a little bit. You have a camera, you move the camera around in a vague circular fashion, you get 2D, 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 2D. What you're trying to do is you go from these 2D images, you're trying to get the 3D scene. That's basically what you're trying to do. And so we will get you a reasonably correct answer, except there's an unknown scale factor. Now this can be got over, but today we're not addressing that problem. So basically how this works is you take these two images, you get a point of interest, you form a new image, then that new image is matched up with image number three over here. And you get a new image new image number two is then matched with number four and by triangulation you're able to work out the 3d coordinates of the various points and you find points of interest function and that's speed up plus function and that's just giving you some idea there of how to do that it's not a lecture on surf later on um, as you would imagine uh, you have the actual moving um, camera path and the estimators and as you go on uh, the the error starts to build and by using bundle adjustments you try to correct the drift of the estimated moving path because as you imagine if you get this wrong well then your triangulation and your reprojection of the 3d points in the scene go horribly wrong and you get fairly serious errors so matlab provides a set of files uh, from that uh, computer vision toolbox and we create a montage and you for later on we're just going to grayscale them so we have one object and we take five different camera shots, excuse me. And also uh, we load the camera parameters. That's the in intrinsic and extrinsic parameters. Now on this YouTube tutorial here, I've shown you how to do that, how to estimate it yourself. But rather than do this here, I just used the MATLAB supplied uh, matrix of camera parameters so you use the surf features to detect the points of interest and then if I slow down here you match the points between the previous and the current image estimate the camera pose to the current view relative to the previous view Compute the camera pose to the current view, the global coordinate system relative to the first view. Triangulate the initial 3D world points and bundle adjustments to refine all the poses. So if you're new to it, there's a lot there. There's a lot there even if you know something. So you go around then in a for loop you and you go and you start matching those. You start matching them first with the second the new image the new image matched with the second and the third get a new image the new image two is matched with image four etc and just there's our tracks there's our poses there's our triangulation there's our bundle adjustment to correct the camera drift We'll just go down a little bit remember we had um, five snaps one two three four five and there so that's the position of the first camera the position of the second camera the third the fourth and the fifth and these blue dots here are the detected points in x y z okay So 
So we're going to go through the images again and then just detect a dense set of corners. Now, just I have one query here. I hate to mention this, but you know, in video compression, one way is to reduce the search time. You have this pyramid in an image and the MATLAB have supplied six. So in other words, you know, that would be, if you say two, it would be a half by a half. So you end up an image a quarter the size. If you say three, it's a quarter by a quarter. So it's one six to size. And then if it's four, it's one eight by one eight. So that's one sixty four to the size, etc. So that would be, just strikes me as being a very, very small image, but I left it as suggested. I'm going through the code reasonably quickly because you can get that yourself on the web. And there's our dense reconstruction. So these green dots here, they would be the real world coordinates of um, the search features that you detected. And there's one, two, three, four, five. Just remember one thing, the scale factor. But we'll get around to that perhaps in another YouTube video. Okay, so... Hope that helps a little. Thanks very much for listening.